Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a what's on my iPhone 2021. video many like literally like a year ago now and you guys seem to really like it but I've never really thought of doing it again as my phone never really changed but your girl got the new iPhone 13 Pro so I'm going to basically be showing you guys some of the new features on here and also do obviously a little show of what I have on my phone but so yeah this is in no way bragging I'm very very grateful that I could even afford to buy it, this new phone as yeah like last time I bought a phone was probably like two years ago so I don't buy new phones every time I know I got a lot of hate when I first posted about my new phone everyone was saying I'm a spoiled brat but I paid for this with my own money this was not my parents or anything as they don't normally pay for my sisters to get new phones unless it's birthdays or Christmases um so I would never randomly just get a new phone it was my own money that I paid for this so yeah i'm not trying to brag or be spoiled in any way it's just i was grateful and lucky enough to actually be able to fool this with my own money so i did because i needed a new phone because my old phone was weird anyways let's get on to the video so i feel like let's start boom should be up on the screen now here is my phone as you guys can see is absolutely gorgeous from the here um you can see my vision board it has all things that I would love to achieve this year and also the back of my phone is like this. I've got some random Amazon case on for now but I'm going to be getting a case to fire one on it because the best cases and I've also got a picture of me and Alfie in there. And I got the colour white in the iPhone 13 Pro in 246 gigabytes or something like that. Also I'm going to sell my new, I'm going to sell my own old phone. Nothing's really wrong with it, it's just the camera quality wasn't good enough for my Instagram pictures anymore. So yeah, it's still good camera quality but needed something a bit better so I got a new one for instafix and stuff like that but um yeah i'm gonna be selling that on my instagram soon it's the iphone 11 pro i think so yeah stay tuned for that if you wanted to buy a new phone you can buy mine um yeah so here we go oh hi rosie so starting off with the front of my phone so it looks like this i have calendar photos reminders health and then I have like this folder of normal and it's just like all random normal things that you get on an iPhone that I physically can't delete some. But some I just keep on there in case I would ever need it. Um, maybe I could delete them. Yeah, I could delete all of them. But that's just me being lazy. Anyway, so yeah, that's my normal. Then I have settings, notes, Barclays, um, clock, camera, app store. And then at the bottom I have phone and Safari. I feel like they're the two that I use pretty much all the time. I'm always typing up stuff on my Safari like... If someone says a word to me, I'm like, what does that mean? Or my phone, I literally FaceTime people. Well, no, I don't. I don't anymore, but I used to FaceTime people a lot. So that's why it's there. Um, then you go onto my second page. I only have three pages, which is some people are like, why? You don't have a lot on your phone. But I do. Then you go on here and then I have watch. This is what I watch things on. Or it's meant to say watch or listen, but I was too lazy at the time. But yeah, it has watch and then it has um, BBC iPlayer, Disney Plus, YouTube, Netflix, Spotify, Sonus. And then you go over to here, it's fitness. I've actually got to like re-download some of these as I'm actually doing a PT session at the moment with um, Coach Miss Charlotte. She's gonna be doing a whole like 90 day transformation thing with me. So I need to re-download her app. But these are the apps I use for fitness. And there's also Clue in there because I love Clue for my periods, but that's kind of like fitness health. So I kind of put it in there. Um, then we go here, this is disposable for the longest time now I've been using disposable this app um i actually used it for when i was in spain mainly like here's me and grace <laughs> so yeah i used it quite a lot in spain and then when i was back home in england but there's a lot of pictures on here that i don't really got seen um but yeah so harrison's on here as well from when he had his little thing but yeah i love the disposable apps i think they're really cute but they're mainly for summer so they're kind of all down like just downloaded now then editing, a lot of these I actually don't use anymore, but when I used to edit my YouTube videos on here or my thumbnails, I used to use things like frames, Polaroid, Easy Retouch. Easy Retouch is actually really good for when you have like plugs in the background. Um, I actually stay away from Facetune and stuff like that. As I won't lie, I'm really not a big fan of it. I do understand people have insecurities, but I don't understand the, th the fact that they may feel insecure well, I do understand it because if you want to edit your pictures, go ahead and edit your pictures. But personally, I don't agree with it. I don't think you should because you're putting out false image on the internet. And yeah, personally, I don't do that. So I don't edit my pictures really other than put a filter on it. But yeah, I used to use Facetune quite a lot. Well, 
No, it isn't. I used to use it for like um, lightening up my pictures because it used to be quite good, but I don't really use it anymore. Then there's Video Star Pre Cool. All that. Art Tori is actually a really fun app. I completely forgot about it, I won't lie, but it's actually really, really good. Um, and yeah, they actually give me like premium access for it forever, so it's great. Then we've got Color Tone. This is where I edit my Instagram pictures on. It's the best app ever. So I select my pictures onto here and then say I want to use this one. This is it with, oh, doesn't seem to want to work. <laughs> okay, this is it without the filter. And then I always use this one here and just lower it down quite a lot. Let's turn my brightness up and then make it. So it's quite contrasty, but also quite bright. That is just the best thing ever. I love it. So yeah, I love, love color tone. I actually wish like one day I could do a collab with them just to show you guys or do like my own filter on there. That'd be sick. Then we've got iMovie Shortcuts, Airbrush, Fonto. Fonto I actually use for my thumbnail sometimes. Very good. Uh, YouTube Studio, you can see I'm not very good at my YouTube because I don't even have it downloaded at the moment. Um, and then Hey Day because I don't really use it, but if I ever did want it, then it's there. Random, I just have like Foreo free prints, Photo Roulette. Me and my friends used to always play Photo Roulette in lockdown, it was so fun. Then we've got Sociable, then it's like House Party, WhatsApp, Messages, FaceTime. The day that this comes out, no, it won't be. House party will be gone when this comes out. How sad is that? House party is going tomorrow. So sad. Then we got work. This is kind of like emails, um, school work. So obviously like emails are more for my social media work so I can see what my manager's doing on my email. And then I also have easy giveaway, which is what I normally do my giveaways on when I'm trying to pick someone. Well, I'm not trying to pick someone, but I need to pick someone, I go on there. Then we have social medias, obviously this is like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, 21 Buttons. I haven't been on there for the longest time either, just re-downloaded it. Then we have Pinterest, guys you should all go follow me on Pinterest. This is my Pinterest. I just pin and I do all Insta post ideas on there, I do everything, I love Pinterest, love it, love it, love it. Then I have Messenger and Snapchat, let's say, hey Snapchat. Let's post that on a day in the life. Here's my Snapchat. I need to reply to people. I know. I'm so bad at replying. Um, and then let's go over to shopping. Shopping is like where I shop all my stuff. So Zara, Opoly, Amazon, Casetify, JD, ASOS, PLT, Depop, Boohoo, In The Style. And there's so many more companies that I shop on, but normally online, if they're not on there. I rarely use the apps anyways, I won't lie. Um, then we have random again. I have a lot of random ones on here. Random is just like countdowns and full park and stuff like that. Um, food, I have Domino's Food Hub, Deliveroo, Just Eat, Uber Eats. Half of them I can't even get around this area, but it's fine. Weather, we have Waze because it's kind of like, you know, the world. Uh, Google Maps, Maps, Weather. But yeah, I just like having them all on there because I know where to put, like, go when I need to see one of them. Then we have Weird, it's just like Amazon Electric. Uh, colour widget shortcuts when I was trying to do widgets but I ended up never doing it and then random we have flow teleprompter tripadvisor uni days and image edge something I can't remember why I have that teleprompter is actually really good so you can actually like write a script and then say it so when I was doing my like um, merch video I always done it on teleprompter it was the best one to do it on in my opinion then my edge is something that my school use um, then we have Heads Up, Collect, Canva, Structured. Structured's a really good app. I always use this. Um, well, actually, I haven't used it in a while, but you kind of like add it and then you put what you have to do. Ha! Ah, set it for the time that you need to do it and then it will go off. And yeah, it's so good. I love it. BBC Weather. Just good, isn't it? Just good. Um, I don't even know where that is. Madoka assistant i don't know what that is then i have flash score so i can see the scores of premier league and all the football going on and then files my home screen my phone is extremely boring i know i'm sorry um but the camera quality is amazing i love the camera i love it so much like you guys don't even understand how good my camera is. I am obsessed with it. Um, a few other features is now on FaceTime. FaceTime is now so weird. So if I go on here, 
Let's find out, babe. I don't want to call. I don't want to call him on FaceTime. He may not reply. I think he may be at football, but I'll see. The song goes down. Hi. Hello. I'm filming a YouTube video, but I just wanted to show them the FaceTime thing now. So this is what the FaceTime looks like, and then you can like silence join requests, so you can silence people from adding others, which I think is really good. Um, and then yeah, you can end it like this, and it's really cool. Right, bye, Alfie. Bye, love you. Bye, bye. Uh, yeah, so that is that. Um, I'm pretty sure that's basically it of my phone. My phone's extremely boring. Won't lie. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I feel like it was really short, really quick, but kind of got it all over and done with quite quickly, don't you think? Also, guys, can we just talk about this? I know it's not a problem if you have a spot, but I just want to let you know, this isn't a spot. This is a burn. I burnt my face on Mark Hill curlers. Mark Hill, screw you. No, I'm joking. I absolutely love Mark Hill. But yeah, I burnt my face. Very embarrassing, cannot lie to you. <laughs> But yeah, guys, this is the end of today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. And comment down below what phone you have right now. Love you all so, so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.